Hey there, welcome to the channel. In this video, I want to go through and touch on this ongoing global IT outage caused by a company called CrowdStrike. So if you haven't been following the news recently, uh, essentially there was this outage uh, due to a software bug in this cybersecurity platform, CrowdStrike, which grounded flights, shut down banks, uh, caused uh, issues at hospitals, TV stations, you name it, affected businesses worldwide. And I, you know, I think this is one of the most important news stories in recent history because it just goes to show what can happen if one company has a monopoly and there's some issue, in this case, a software bug that was rolled out in the latest update, uh, it can, it can cause global mayhem, right? So this officially, you know, it started Friday and I've been following the news updates for the past three days or so, kind of geeking out um, about this uh, this issue that's affecting businesses globally. And if if it affected you personally, let me know in the comments below. I you know I'm based in Thailand, so I don't, I'm not really traveling all that much, so it didn't really affect me. And but yeah, millions of people they saw the blue screen of death, the BSOD screen, which is caused by the software bug. Essentially, the software went into like um, uh, infinite loop. So it wasn't able to boot up and went into recovery mode. So that's why the, the blue screen of death was displayed everywhere. Right. So it's really serious. It hit the airline, the travel industry really hard planes, grounded services, delayed and airports issuing advice to passengers, obviously lots of angry customers. As you can see here, they're waiting in long queues. They're not able to check in. They're not able to get their boarding pass. I believe in India as well, they were actually forced to hand draw, like make out the, the boarding passes by hand. That's how serious this issue is. And, you know, shortly after uh, it occurred, the CEO, CEO uh, George Kurtz came out on live TV and he said that they, they had already ruled out the update, but obviously this is going to take two, three, four, five days. Who knows how long? to update systems globally. The stock is down significantly. In the past five days, it's down like 17%. So if you're looking to invest in a stock, uh, CrowdStrike may be a good one to do. You know, Once all of this bad news has dissipated, you would want to possibly buy some CrowdStrike stock. Keep in mind, I'm not a financial professional. I'm not an advisor in any way. In fact, I do not invest in the stock market myself, but you know what they say, buy low, sell high. But yeah, you know, it caused global mayhem, 2,800 delayed flights in the U.S. alone. Private and public sectors industries continue to be impacted by the outage, uh, impacted 8.5 million Windows devices. It is important to note out that note that Linux and Mac devices were not affected. So only Windows machines, which makes perfect sense if you ask me actually come over to this website down detector right here and you can take a look at the companies that this affected so if we scroll down to the reports these are outages reported in the last 24 hours so it should be somewhere down here like just a flat line at the bottom but as you can see there's still a lot of uh reports of outages mostly due to this CrowdStrike software problem Right. So that, you know, millions and millions of screens worldwide are, are showing this blue screen of death right here. As you can see, you know, it's it's just everywhere. I think they even have like a picture of it up at Macy's in, in Times Square as well. And over here on Forbes, actually, they have a proposed fix for it right here. So Kurtz told NBC some users have been able to resolve the problem by rebooting their computers. But, you know, chances are that's not going to fix anything. It's just going to go back into the infinite reboot cycle uh, because it's not able to, basically the, the .sys file is null. So it's just full of zeros. And this is something that they, they didn't expect, right? So somehow something got misconfigured or set up wrong and it rolled out like that. So this fix involves booting the system into safe mode or Windows recovery environment and going to this directory right here and then deleting these files, these .sys files right here. This process puts the system into a mode where CrowdStrike and other third-party drivers aren't able to operate. So essentially you just need to delete those .sys files, but you know, most companies, they're not necessarily gonna be familiar. They, they don't know about this update. They're, they're unfit. They don't know 
what to do to fix it, right? So it's causing these huge lines of queues in the airports. Uh, luckily, it didn't seem to affect the airports in Thailand too much, as far as I know. And systems seem to be up and operational again at the airports. And here's the CEO, Kurt, Kurt Katz or whatever his name is, speaking out uh, about the, the software update that they, they rolled out. He apologizing to customers, obviously, because this is costing companies billions, possibly billions of dollars, right, globally. Um, and it's all due to one single software bug. Here's a summary of the technical details released by the company. So they actually have a full uh, technical report over here on the official website right here. So they're explaining what happened. So July 19th, that was Friday at around 4 a.m. UTC time. As part of ongoing operations, CrowdStrike released a sensor configuration update to Windows systems. Sensor configuration updates are an ongoing part of the, the protection mechanisms of the Falcon platform. This configuration update triggered a logic error resulting in a system crash and blue screen of death on impacted systems. A uh, system configuration update that caused the system crash was remediated on Friday. This issue is not the result of, of or related to a cyber attack. So it's kind of interesting that a cybersecurity company has um, the, the one thing that they're trying to prevent is, is caused this this serious significant issue right, that affected customers worldwide. Uh, customers running Falcon sensor for Sys Windows version 7.11 and above were that were online between Friday, these between these times may be impacted. And it shows right here again on Windows systems, channel files reside in the fallen directory, like I discussed earlier, and they have this name. So essentially you have to delete these channel files ending with a dot sys extension. Um, they have this says they are not kernel drivers but i've seen some other reports that say they have like kernel root level access to the system which is a little bit strange like i don't know why they need super user rights uh in this particular case but anyway channel file 291 controls how falcon evaluates named pipe execution on windows systems named pipes are used for normal interprocess. <laughs> so this is getting pretty technical now, but the update that occurred was designed to target newly observed malicious named pipes being used by common C2 frameworks in cyber attacks. I don't really know what that means. You probably don't know what that means either, but essentially they've already rolled out the update and this is the root cause. I watched another video that basically just showed the, the channel files that they're referring to here were null. So in other words, if, if you have a computer science degree uh, like me, <laughs> that means they're full of zeros. So this is something they weren't expecting. The files are just full of zeros. And then it tried to, there's basically a pointer to that file, which one of the other files was trying to access. And then it, it looks at that file and then it's just full of zeros. So it essentially forces the system to go into like an infinite reboot for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, and that was what was causing the the blue screen of death recovery mode that so many people were seeing, right? Obviously, definitely negatively impacting their stock as well. I have a friend over here in Samui who actually um, has a lot of, he's been holding CrowdStrike for many, many years. So it's not a good time to be a stockholder, obviously. It's down like 11% in the past day or so you can see that there's a, just this massive uh dip right here but you know if you are an investor in the stock market now might be a time like to buy some crowdstrike stock especially once the systems are back on um, up and running globally um might be a good idea to buy some crowdstrike stock as it's probably going to go up again i would think after this after everything is fixed right and then obviously Microsoft, like Microsoft itself wasn't the culprit here. It was this CrowdStrike software. Uh, but they say Microsoft separately had, had fixed the underlying cause for the outage of its 365 apps and services, including Teams and OneDrive. I actually use OneDrive on my system right here. It's it's right here running. This is basically a backup. So you can back up to your files to the cloud. Uh, it says, you know, this is not a security incident or cyber attack. The issue has been identified, isolated, and fixed has already been deployed. Keep in mind, it may take a few days to update systems worldwide. 
Uh, the issue stemmed from a defect found in a single content update for Microsoft Windows. Um, and they also add that Mac and Linux hosts were not impacted, which I discussed earlier in this video. Uh, it's disrupted operations at companies across multiple industries on Friday. Uh, airlines, you know, halting flights, broadcasters off air, sectors ranging from banking to healthcare hit by the system problems. And obviously he apologized. It could be some time for some systems that won't automatically recover. And they did recommend, you know, just rebooting, but that's not necessarily going to fix the blue screen of death issue. And I did actually use AI to, to generate an image. There's a tool called Leonardo that you can use to you just issue it a prompt and it will come up with the images, right? So this is what it came up with right here. So you can see that looks nothing like a blue screen of death. It's got the wrong, I don't know what that is. It almost looks like Russian on the screen, right? Um, so <laughs> there's still a long ways to go with AI image generation. Again, that image looks like crap as well. Um, this one is not very good either, although it is at an airport, right? So they got that part right. And there's a long queue of people waiting in line, which is what I wanted to look for. And then got another one here, BSOD. That's, that's not what the blue screen of death screen looks like. Um, so yeah, kind of interesting that that AI is is not very capable of generating things that it has no frame of reference about. So it would be one thing if I could up the, upload an image showing exactly what the screen looks like, maybe it would be able to come up with a better image. But anyway, still has a long way to go. This I say was one of the worst. Um, it's, it's not an airport, it looks like an airport, but why are there so many computers everywhere? And it's just got the Windows logo on there. That's not the blue screen of death. So overall, I don't really, you know, care all that much for AI image generation. Obviously, there's tools that do a better job of Leonardo, like Dolly or Mind or Mid Journey, some of these ones. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is not what I wanted to talk about in this video. Just wanted to go over the, uh, the ongoing global IT outage. And again, let me know if you were affected by this. Uh, post a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. I just wanted to do some justice to this news article because on the channel, I mostly talk about everything Thailand related or online business, these sorts of things. But in this case, I wanted to touch on the, the CrowdStrike global IT outage. So hope you found this interesting. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, take care, stay safe. Peace.